And so this video has automotive applications in general, whether it's motorcycles or cars, etc. If you're doing any sort of custom wiring using modern connectors, this will give you a great idea of how those connectors work in general. And even though there are hundreds of different types of connectors, this should give you a good basis of how to deal with most, if not all of those, and figure them out so that you can do your own depinning and own custom connector work. I recently was customizing my motorcycle by putting taller handlebars on it. I was swapping out handlebars from another model motorcycle from the same manufacturer. I was also using electronic switches from that same other model. And I ended up having to swap out the electrical connectors on one of these switches, which means depinning the wires from one connector and swapping them into my old connector that already fit on my bike. The handlebars I'm switching to are from a CB500X. And the bike I have is a CB500F. All right, so I've run into a bit of an unexpected problem here, and this is where we get into real custom work. Our old electrical connection is this nice wide thing, remember, right? And here is the new one. <laughs> you can see the new one, the CB, that 500X version is a different size for some reason. If we count the terminals inside here, all these little shiny, sort of they're kind of a gold metal in there those little terminals that's where all the wires connect right there and if we count those in each one of these there's eight there's eight in both of them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to depin or take these little terminal pieces out and those are connected directly to the wires i can take those out and basically swap over the connector part the gray the plastic part i'm going to take the plastic part off the old one and put it onto the new one. All right, so in order to do that, we've got, we've got our old one here first. We've got all this electrical tape. And just take this electrical tape off and we can take this like boot thing off at the end of it. We're gonna wanna keep, now we can look at our wires up here, right? Look at all those beautiful wires. Now I'm gonna stop there and do the same thing over here. And make sure we're dealing, we're dealing with the same color coding. Otherwise, it'll get a little bit more complicated. It's still doable, but more complicated. All right, let's pull that back and see if we have similarly, similarly coded wires. <laughs> They're the same colors in the same positions, just different connection pieces. So this should be really easy in a sense. The hard part is just gonna be the depinning because that takes a little bit of finesse and a little bit of practice to get that done well. All right, so to do that, I've got a depinning tool here. I'm gonna do this one at a time so I can't mess it up. I'm gonna start with this one wire on the end. I'm just picking a wire that makes sense for me. Each electrical connector is gonna be slightly different. Um, and you sort of have to learn and figure out, sleuth out how each one works. On these, I've seen them before. These are one of the more complicated ones. A lot of them, and I've used, I've seen a number of them where you can just go in here with one of these depinning tools and you gotta sort of figure out which one of these tools works the best. Um, you can go in there and sort of lift up a little teeny, teeny, tiny tab, just lift that thing up and then simultaneously pull the wire and it will, it will pull the wire out and depin it that way. This one is, has a second stage to it um, where if you look at this real close, you can see on the sides of this little sort of curve here and then on the back, if you notice, if you look real close, you can tell that this little rectangle on the back here is separate from all the main sort of connector piece there. I should be able to sort of lift these things up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you look underneath here, you can see there's like these little hooks that hook into the side. So if I de-hook that one and de-hook this one, there we go. And this pops up like that. That sort of, this is like a, it locks them right in. And so now, now we should go back to the sort of traditional thing that I was talking to you about before. And it oftentimes takes me a minute to figure out the system. And then once I do, it's not too bad. You can see the actual end of the terminal, the pin there. Now if I pull this thing all the way out, there we go. That's a pin. And that's how it goes in there. It's pretty fancy, pretty fancy stuff. Um, so now <clears throat> I've got that one out. We can see on the other one, 
You can see this one is a white and yellow. This one here is also a white and yellow, and it's like in the exact same position on each connector. So I'm going to disconnect the one on this one, and this is a similar setup. You can see, you see all the same features and characteristics on this one. It's just a different size. All right, so now I've got the one out on that connector. Now that we've got that one out, I'm going to immediately put the other one in its spot where that one came out of so that I don't have to think about this where they go. You just push it in and it clicks like that and it's good to go. Now we're just going to work our way down the line here and keep doing this. Alright, since this is the most frustrating part of this, I'm going to show you how I'm making this work. I'm not telling you this is the right way to do it. I'm just telling you this is how I made it work. First of all, we've got this guy disconnected. We've got it fully disengaged from these little slots in here. You can see how these guys fit down in those slots. This is fully removed from that. On the actual inside here, I don't know if you can see it or not, but on the very, we've got like, uh, we've got the little holes where the pins go through, right? Um, right above, right above that, there's like a little tab, just slightly recessed back. And I'm using this guy here, one with like a little spike on the end of it. And what I'm doing is I'm getting that spike down underneath the tab and then pulling it up like that. I'm not going straight back in, but off to the side. If you angle it like this, or if I angle it like this, then I can get, then this will sit sort of on this little ledge right before the tab. And then when I angle it, it provides great leverage. And that makes everything work here. Get a good pinch on the wire I'm trying to get there between two fingers so I can sort of use that to yank it out of there and then get in here with my little leverage technique. All right, we're down to the final one. Just one wire remains. All right, that should be it. Should be good to go. I just have to lock these things down again on the sides. Jamming these things back down in like that and then Pushing that down, and that sort of seals it. Same thing over here. And then to finish this out appropriately, I'm gonna take some electrical tape, tape this thing back up again, the way it was when I found it. All right, so now I'm bringing it over here. I'm gonna run it down through here. And that's it, just some electrical fun I was having this week. Thought it might be helpful to somebody else out there because deepening connectors can be tricky. So hopefully this elucidates something for somebody. In the next month or so, I'm going to do some more custom wiring on this bike and wire in an electrical outlet so that I can plug in my GPS and go places I've never been before. So thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next time and keep on wrenching, everybody. All right, and now before we get too much further, I'm going to start this bad boy up and make sure everything's working on it, especially the uh, right side controllers there to make sure that all that stuff is working, the electronics that we rewired kind of, sort of, to make sure that that is actually lined up the way it's supposed to and actually functions. So let's try this thing out. Oh yes. Look at that, high beams are on. Let's turn the high beams off. Nice. That's the start button. All right, so our hazards, they work, man. Hazards are working sweet. Turn those off. Now this seems to work. So I listen. That's working. Now can we start it? Start button work? 